Did I miss the drama green? I was in this floor, but I haven't heard anybody talking. I tried to talk. I don't know what's going on. No drivers meetings tonight. No driver to meet tonight, boys. We had a little computer issue, but we got it squared away now. <clears throat> we want to have drivers meeting. All right, folks, here we are. Race number two in Iowa. This is the iRacing Flea Market. Of course, race number two, where taking the pole tonight is going to be your number 11 of see, Brandon see. Stokes. Brandon Stokes is going to be your pole leader yeah. for the night. <clears throat> outside of him, you're going to have Hal James. Hey, Hal man. James, that's right. Hal James is going to be on the outside. Hey, how you doing? And third is going to be Sean Allred. Uh, fourth, Here's Andy Trupiano, who was last week's winner. See if he can okay. make it two in a row. Row three, yeah. you're going to have Chris Kucha. Chris Kucha. Six, you're going to have Mike Buchanan. Not really, you. Yeah, I like how they. Yeah. Outside yeah, of him. Though. Or row four, you're going to have Jeff Smith, 11. That's right, there's 11 Jeff Smiths. And the number hey, seven card, yeah. eighth, is going to be Matthew Klein-Schmidt uh, on the outside, row four. Row five, we're going to have Christopher Lewis, 28. What's up, Jacob? And outside hey, of him, it's going to be the 32 of Bobby Good Summers, luck, rounding out your top ten, continuing Good on. Day, row six, you're going to have Kyle Snyder, 29 card. Twelfth, Jimmy Cooper, 57. It, Row 7, you're going to have Brandon De Devini, 13th. 14th, you're going to have Carl Burke. Anybody Row 8, going to have Greg Hooks Carl and Burke. Stephen Harry. Row 9, Kevin Strandberg. Stephen Sandlin, 18th. Row 10, Matthew Ponte and Michael G. Downs. Row 11, Steve Seagars and Stephen Robards. No Row 12, you're going to have Jeffrey Smith, 4. He is going to be running the Ford Entertainment Group car tonight. He's one of my teammates. And outside of him is going to be Richard Lewis, the number 4 car. So there we go. 35 drivers in tonight's race, boys. 35 drivers to kick it off. Pace car is off. Or pace car lights are off. So we are about to start, folks. Those you can pull off. <clears throat> Once they go around a lap or two, my standings will repopulate and I will be able to call out the action a little more accurately. Uh oh, we're losing a leader. Pull up there, Tony. You get up there. Need to worry. But uh, you will hear the drivers talking tonight. Looks like we lost the leader. Maybe he had uh, an issue. Oh, he's back. If the leader loses, well, we lost out, the leader. Dude. We did lose the leader, but yeah, here we go. Brandon Stokes, our pole sitter, to lead him around for lap one of 150 yeah, laps here in Iowa. This is the Ford Entertainment Group, and this is the iRacing Flea Market, and these boys are off. Brandon Stokes leading him around into three and four with the number 33 following him. Pretty close. It looks like they wanted to go three wide, but the 22 checked up to make sure that uh, he finished the race the rest of the rest of the way. But so far, pretty much oh, onesies and twosies, twos, twosies all the way around. No. Complete lap two. Looks like the number 11 car is going to maintain that lead, possibly. Let's see here. We do have that number seven of Andy Trippiano trying to sneak his way in. Last race winner, Andy Trippiano. So far, so good. Three laps into this semi-short track racing here in Iowa. 
Again, this is the Ford Entertainment Group, and this is your Iowa, or this is your iRacing Flea Market race number two, where we have a field of 35 drivers battling out in what was race number two. Now, with race number two up for grabs is obviously those all important official points which you want to grab because at the end of this thing, whoever takes our season championship it's going to get a custom made computer custom made computer by Ford Entertainment Group free of charge this race is free all you have to do is be a member of the Facebook page okay. iRacing Flea Market and be a member of the league obviously but uh, in addition to that each race has prizes and money given to a random driver who finishes on the lead lap so if you finish on the lead lap, you have a shot at in this in today's race, uh, fifty dollars payable via PayPal, which will happen, which we will do the random driver live on broadcast, and he immediately gets his fifty dollars. It looks like the number thirty-three of Hal James gets into the wall, slows him down a little bit. Is uh, Andy Trippiani going to go ahead and make his way around him? Yes, it looks like Hal James is going to lose that spot to. Uh, Number seven, Andy Trupiano. So here we go. We got Andy Trupiano and Hal James battling it out. Second and third. This is your top five after seven laps. And we will move our way through yeah, the field. Rough bump on that outside line. But uh, so far, so good. Green flag racing. These boys did a fairly decent job last time as well. Let's take a look at tonight's weather. Um, tonight's weather, we've got 78 degrees. This is going to be default iRacing uh, weather here. Um, we're not using anything in particular. It's all fixed setups here. So it's going to be your default weather. And, uh, of course, the track temps. Uh, your track length is a little bit shy of one mile. And uh, the track temperature 78, so it's fairly grippy for the boys tonight. Somebody in the wall. So moving on through the field, let's take a look at some of these fine vehicles. Third, we got Hal James. Fourth, we have Sean Allred. Sean Allred. Fifth, we got Jeff Smith, 11. Sixth, we have Cl Matthew Kleinschmidt, the second. Believe it or not, there's two guys called that. You can see he's getting a little bit of a little bit of a push there. Uh, he's getting a little bit of activity behind him, so he's going to be uh, possibly looking in his rear view mirror. Hopefully he doesn't pay attention too long to it. Uh, looks like he's going to get passed by number six, possibly Chris Kuchka. Is he going to be able to hold that low line, or is he going to have to give give away? Let's see here. Number six is. looks like he might get by the number 59. Yes, he does. So Matthew Kleinschmidt overtakes the number 59 at the moment. Uh, to maintain that uh, sixth place position. That's Chris Kuchta, my bad, in seven. All right, so let's go back to looking at some of these vehicles here. All right, continuing on, here in eighth place, we've got Christopher Lewis. Ninth, you got Carl Burke. Tenth, you got Jimmy Cooper, the Coop. Eleventh, you got Bobby Summers. 12th, Greg Hooks. 13, Steve Seagars. These are all members of the iRacing flea market. We all band together and uh, sell our uh, used equipment and sometimes new equipment as well. 14th, Brandon Devaney. 15th, Kevin Strandberg. As Kevin Strandberg's looking like he's getting a little bit of uh, he's getting a little bit of competition from behind him. Look at this battle ensuing. Let's see if. Uh, if Sandlin behind him is going to be able to get grab a hold of 15. Stay on board and watch just a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
different braking points. Different braking points usually is a is a problem here at short track, but so far so good. Uh, these guys have managed to keep all the tires underneath them, and the cars gotten straightened out a little bit here. Looking in the back, you're gonna get a yellow. So, uh, <clears throat> pretty good deal. Looks like the first wild. caution's out, fellas. First caution is out. So these boys. You he hit the brake hard, and I thought I tried to go inside to dodge it, and then I drove it back up. All righty. Brandon Stokes is your race leader currently. Post, post car is exit in two right here. Truck up in the one, guys. Yeah, no, you just overdrove the entry. That's all it was, driving over your head. Appreciate right. it for ruining my race, though. It's always a good waste of time. Oh, uh, when you spin, hold your brakes so you don't slide all over the track. Long run. Pretty good, decent run for the boys right now. Uh, wind it up, boys. Time up. We get in the pit. All right, the boys are going to be going in the pit right now. Checking up hard. Pit lane. It's going to be busy here. We're going to grab fours and uh, continue on. <clears throat> Race leader. So uh, Brandon Stokes, that beside me, that's problem. I'll be our pole sitter, sitter, so he's going to be in the first pit stall there. And we will move our way back to take, take a quick look at all the cars. 33. Number one. It's a good time to roll through these guys. Race coming off here between the 53 and 28. The Coop, Bobby Summers, Greg Hooks in that number 35. Look at this, a three-way going off. Nice. Yeah, I just said that. Back out to the current race leader. <clears throat> we are uh, watching Mr. Brandon Stokes. Brandon Stokes here. Let's see if maybe we can... Uh, Grab a quick interview with Brandon, possibly. We'll give it a shot. See if maybe uh, he's going to be available. That was my fault. I just got sick of dealing with the roadblock. Got a couple of those in here. Brandon Stokes, got a copy. Brandon Stokes, got a copy, brother. Looks like Brandon may not have his Discord on. You're looking at Brandon Stokes in the Discord. He's down in the channel. Let's see if we can talk to. I had to X that out because that was what my deal was. I can still hear it doing shit, but I had to exit it out. Jeffrey Smith got a copy. Yeah, I got him. Hey, how's it going out there so far? How's the oh, track feeling? Trying to talk to me a little. Very frustrating. I uh, unbelievably frustrating. I. There's nowhere to go. Everybody's fighting for one lane and under driving everything. How's your car? How's your car running though? Is it going to be able to uh, maintain on the lead lap or? I hope so. I hope so, man. I really do. I don't. I don't know how much that that hurt me right there, but it, it might have really uh, really hung me right there. I'm looking at the back end of your car there, uh, Smith, and, and for those of you out there, Smith is driving to FEG car tonight, uh, nice we'll black scheme uh, going on, and uh, uh, he's one of my drivers, but uh, looks like he got a little bit of damage from that last instance there, but uh, looking at it, it looks like you just got rear-ended real hard, but I don't see anything up front, Smith. Uh, nobody told us, so. Awesome. Hopefully it, hopefully it stays like that. Alrighty, sir. We'll keep an eye out on you. And uh, see if you can uh, keep that thing on a lead lap and maybe get lucky and bring it home uh, to Victor. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Yep. Well, folks, that was Jeffrey Smith there in the number 20 car. He got tied up a little bit uh, in that last one. How you doing back there, Tony? But uh, I am leaving driver. 
Oh, okay. I'm leaving the driver chat on for you guys so you can see kind of what it sounds like to be in the cars here. A lot of times you just watch the broadcast and you don't really know what exactly is uh, being said. Uh, a lot of banners going on with these guys. A lot of checking up. A lot of telling each other what they're about to do. And of course, you know, you'll have the occasional, you know, flare up. Drivers flaring up against each other. Uh, they are all competitors, so uh, you would expect that. Good luck, everybody. Great time. So here we go. Lap 21, folks. As Brandon Stokes brings us off into lap 22 of this 150 lap race. But not bad. These guys came together for the first time last last race, which was two weeks ago. And uh, they had a fairly clean run. And again tonight, you can see it's, uh, it's Iowa short track racing, and they've had one caution. But other than that, it's been it's been fairly clean. Uh, Brandon Stokes has led the majority of the laps. Uh, as you can see in the black car there, that's Andy Trupiano, the number seven car. He won last week. So... Uh, Looks like he might be conserving a little bit of uh, tires. Uh, he does have a little bit of a different line than the rest of the guys. As you can see, he's he's taking that low line where most guys are taking that high line so they can get that good turn off. But we'll see uh, in the end uh, how that's gonna gonna play out for him. Again, this is the iRace and Flea Market uh, season 18. It's trucks all all season long. Our next race is going to be. On May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Hopefully the guys aren't drinking and driving. But uh, the next race is going to be at Daytona, folks. It's going to be at Daytona. So look out for that one. Super Speedway racing at its finest uh, for race number three, which will take place on May 5th. Uh, expecting a prize fund uh, to a random driver on the lead lap there. A uh, hundred plus dollars. <clears throat> of course, the all-important points race. Uh to the season champion who will get a custom PC built for them by myself. <clears throat> for those of you who may just be tuning in, I uh, sell computers to iRacers. As we see a lead change right now, it looks like Trippiano did finally make it past Brandon Stokes in that number 11 car. You can see the uh, <clears throat> see the distance that he's pulled ahead there in that low line racing uh, vehicle. But Trupiano won last week or last race to see if he can take it home this time. As you see, he gets a little bit into the wall. But it looks like most of the cars are single file behind him, and. Uh, uh, Everybody definitely wanting to stay on the lead lap for the money. Uh, that's one of the interesting things here is you don't have to be necessarily the fastest at the track and win the race to get the money. You just have to finish on the lead lap. So um, if you're not the fastest guy, that's fine. You don't need to be the fastest guy. Taking a look at the field now. Let's go ahead and, uh, and pop up our. Well, you can all, you can see the ticker at the top there. You can find your favorite driver and look at the um, look at their positions. But it looks like another cautions came out. Let's see if we can find that one. Check it out. See if we can. Let's see if we can find that. I don't have everything yet all set up, so we'll go back here. We'll look at blimp view and see if we can find exactly what happened. A lot of self spins usually happen here. So I'm looking for what may have happened. Take a look. See if we see anybody sideways. I don't. I don't see anybody sideways. Huh. Nobody looks out of shape. Alright. But you, the, the boys are going to be going into the pits now. The 
If you're wondering how the boys started, there's tonight's qualifying lineup. How they qualified, top 20. You can see it go out. That's how they qualified. That's how they started. But uh, it doesn't really matter how they start. It's how they finish. But uh, that's what they got so far. Showing our top five right now, folks. As they stand right now, we do have a new race leader. We've got Steven Robards. Second, Brandon Stokes. Third, Trupiano. Fourth, we got the coupe. And fifth, we got the 20, 22 car. Uh-oh. What happened to you, Steven? Oh, I got caught speed in the first caution. Oh, that's not good. So let's cycle back through these guys. <clears throat> we'll just cycle through them real quick. Look for your favorite driver there. Second, Brandon Stokes. Third, Andy Trupiano. What's up, Francis James? <laughs> you believe. How's it going there, bro? Even kind of rough, man. Hey, I'm forward, bud. Hope you get to feeling better. Where you at, Steve-O? Say again, David? I was talking about Seegers. Hey, I'm What's that? I said, where are you at? In the mix, I'll listen. Again, there's Tim uh, Coffee. He's running the FEG's paint scheme. As you can see. What are you taking, Steven? Uh, there's that old FEG paint scheme. Back to the leader. Lights are off on the pace car. So, let's see what kind of start Stephen Robards can get. <coughs> see if the old boy can get it going. Can he or can't he? Leader stay out. Oh yeah, leader. Leader stays yeah, out quite a bit. Here we go. Steven Robards. What's he gonna do? What is he gonna do? On the mic tonight is myself. And of course, as always, sometimes crying baby. Oh, look at that. Outside. Oh, the 7 of Truppiano gets turned. Oh, look at that. Fantastic save. Oh, they got it straight now. Fantastic wow. save by Andy Truppiano. That is a save of the year. Restart, man. That was awesome. That was amazing. I hate that. That's why I almost got in the back of it. What a save by Andy Truppiano, guys. Make sure you guys watch that in the replay and the broadcast. It was pretty awesome. Good job. Caution is out. Caution is out again. Caution out again. Let's see. So did somebody call that on purpose or what was that deal? Let's see. Sorry about that sound and I got knocked in too, bud. Let's take a look at and see if we can find who yeah, got out of shape maybe. Look for the, we'll look for the out of shape like car. Checking about a two. Uh, yeah, guys, I guess that was on me. I got you a lot of damage, Stevie. I don't, I don't see who it was. Oh well. 
Yeah, I couldn't stop in time, Mark. Mm. Once I have all my screens set up properly, I'll be able to cut right to the uh, the wrecks well, to, to showcase them. But, uh, there, so to yeah, for right now, bit. I don't have that availability. So a few cars are going to go down pit lane, a couple cars are going to stay out. You're going to start seeing different strategies here. It looks like uh, Andy, he uh, fake going down. I thought the whole field was going to get wrecked right there. The spotter didn't say that we were three wide, so I just held my spot. And I saw, this, I saw the, I think it was a seven inside, and then the 24, and I think, I don't know, from my mirror, it just looked like somebody came down. Looks like it was Brandon Stokes was involved in something. came out, one of the two, hell on there. I'm glad I wasn't involved. He collected a few of us. It should have been a yellow. So it a few yellows a so far. Not a whole lot of yellows, but a few. It was a mess. Three cautions. Everybody was checking out and banging For on 10 laps. Other. We have gone 38 laps. We started off pretty good. I'm checking up for all the mess. But I will They're see. Broken. We'll see what happens. Who is it going to figure it out? This is race two. It's on. early in the season. So we'll see. He was gone, but he was rolling really fast. And then when the green came out, he never gassed it up. So we just who's going to win it? You know, like who's going to win it? So. Those of you in, in watching right now, green flag came who's out, going to so win tonight's race? And, and which one of these drivers is going to win the Pretty fifty dollars sure and the, the right. free prize? That is correct. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know that. Normally in the officials, last time I did it, it got me, so. Yeah, as long as you go to the right, right of the vehicle, yeah, you can pass. <clears throat> okay, good to know, gentlemen. Once the green is out, then. See the lights are still on the pace car. David, did you get a lot of damage off of it? I don't know. My dark horse to win it tonight is the Coop, number 57. I think old Cooper might have what it takes. Uh, to possibly win this thing, he's. What's a normal water temp for these things? He's he's an up and comer, I'll tell you. Fifty-seven. You've been blinking a lot. Can't never too. count out the coop. Number fifty-seven. I ain't been blinking. Hello. Now just that beginning when we were going green, he disappeared for a while, and then uh, he came back, and he's been good. But fifty-seven's been blinking the whole time. Yeah, the coop. Well, I can't see you at all from back here. You gotta be disappeared. Got some disappearing acts going on. What are you guys doing with this lane switch? My water temp isn't even registering. Lights are off on the pace car, folks. We are about to go no, green. Two twenty in the yellow. Coming around again, three and four. Yeah, watch your water temp. Oh, I'm sorry, coming around one and two. Eventually. And uh, we're going to get to it here. We're going to see if Jimmy Cooper's going to be able to make that outside line work. Will he be able to do it? Yeah, it's starting to go up. That's not good. Be better off hitting and trying to fix it than blowing up. Oh, seven there, doing a little bit of option on a did most of it. Pace car is going to be off here. Pace car is going to dive off. 79, hold a steady speed. Just I am. Looks like Cooper was anticipating a little bit. Brandon Stokes did not get a huge jump on the 57. As you see, the, the 07 on the outside of the coupe. Uh, as he gets a little bit squeezed there, but they're going to get through it. 
Look at Cooper take that low line, make up a little bit of ground on that number 11. But behind him, you got the 07. Then you got that target ride. Behind him, would have Chris Cooch done that number 6. But uh, getting quite a gaggle of cars here. You got first, second, third, and fourth. And uh, look at fit, look at back at 86 and 28 battling it out. The 28. I'm sorry, the 28 and the 26. So uh, something's got to give. These boys are really going door to door here, uh, trying to win this race. Look at this stuff. Great race. Get a green flag runner. Okay, we got a little bit of a caution. Let's let's work let's work through and see if we can find out who's out of shape. Checking up. I don't see anybody out of shape again. All right. There's people overdriving it this early in the race. Makes no sense. Yep. Made it. People overdriving a little bit. <clears throat> Hurry up, guys. Come on. I do have a... Uh, just a heads up, gentlemen. There is an incident limit in tonight's race. So, those of you who may be approaching possibly double-digit incident points, you may want to take it a little easy for the rest of the race. I purposely am not telling the incident limits that I have put on just so everyone races properly from the get-go yeah the old boys don't know do you penalty for uh, wreck causing wrecks no penalties for causing wrecks yes there is penalties for intentionally causing a wreck And that penalty is pretty straightforward. You won't be allowed to run in any more uh, I race and flea market season races. That's right. Purposely wrecking is not allowed. And you don't need to make rules for that either. Hey Jeff, then you might want to look at 16 then. But. If anyone has an issue with someone that they believe was intentional, mark down the lap and the number of the vehicle and name, and I will review them after the race. Many I'll put it up here. I was going to. All right. I just did. Yeah, we're not going to have a league, a league full rules. Every, you don't need rules. You don't need to make a rule saying you can't wreck anybody. We all know that you can't wreck anybody. And for the most part, I've been in I racing for eight, nine years, and very rarely do people actually try to wreck other people. Those people don't last long on I racing, and uh, that's one of the good things about I racing. There's a half, and then the yellow, the half. Uh, so we have a lead change here. Uh, the number 21 uh, of Jerry Coles is our current race leader. So that means Kyle, Jeff, Kyle, everybody, we need to relax for at least five or ten miles as long as we get through these guys. But special tonight, I'm leaving the driver chat on so you can hear what it sounds like. I ain't gonna block you. You guys are better drivers than I am, so. This is just the recipe for the vest right here. I can already fill it just like you didn't put <laughs> So we got cars up front with one bad one, so. tires, and we got cars in the back with good tires. Everybody so go on where that's going to come into play sure. is on the start, you're going to have guys oh. who are going to be able to get into get into the corners a lot better than the next guy, and uh, hopefully they're going to realize that they're still going to have to check up a little bit. So. Again, uh, lead lap drivers all have a chance at the $50 as well as the special prize, which will be going to, blaming, their, you know, to their house. A uh, special prize. That's why I said it's a recipe for disaster. So we do still have 22 guys on the lead lap. 22 guys on the lead lap. Uh, all the way down to Stephen Harry. Or Kevin okay. Cole, I'm sorry. I'm going to drive down on that is yellow. I'm going to ride with me. And several cars game, like, that are uh, just game uh, game uh, a lap and two laps down. So pretty much everybody is still in it, folks. 
still everybody is still if in. If you don't go on this restart, you'll get a uh, you'll give everybody a black honey. Uh, I'll go. I'm just gonna stay out of the way unless you guys go by. All right, so here we go. Can you can you just go and do that on, a, on the back stretch? Come out of two, go low out of two. You're gonna bottleneck the whole field again. Wreck us all. Uh, I'm not gonna like stop. I'm gonna go, but I'm just saying I'm gonna stay low. So Jerry Cobes, he does lead a lap. Pace cars off. Jerry gets a decent jump though, that's good. He's gonna be able to get into turn one at least uh, without anybody on top of him. But yeah, look at that. He's doing a fine job right now. You see the cars behind him. They are gonna catch him though with those with those fresh tires. But uh good stuff, man. Good, good, good stuff. He's got 32 laps on his tires. Everyone behind him's got much less. So as you can see, those cars behind him, they're starting to get two and three wide, getting a little sporty here in Iowa, but there is room. <clears throat> Looks like number 11 of Brandon Stokes is going to make an outside pass. Uh oh, they're crashing in the back. I see that one. I'm going to be able to bring you that action. All right, let's go back about 10 Great seconds. Job, here. Guys. Every single lap there, I was three wide see on the yeah. outside and impatient we'll people, so I eventually got wrecked. Good job. Looks like the 57 and Jimmy Cooper, not his fault. Well, I don't know whose fault it is, but we're yeah, going to uh, watch three wide about. It, we're going to we're going to watch this right now. Let's take a look. Ready? We're at least three Oh, it looks like the 64 got in to uh, the 64 got into the 32 maybe. And that was pretty wild out of two, so you could have held it down. Let's take a look. Oh, 64 did just a little bit of touching going on. They're going three wide. Just trying to make it three wide in here. 64 got a little loose into the 32. And then it uh, looks like everybody did a little something, something there. Yeah. Let's go blend view on it. So we can watch all this. So a few cars. Not a whole lot of damage, though, I don't think, by anybody. You know, I have to run coming off of two. You know, two or three tenths slower. So. Yeah, I got slammed in that wall. <laughs> and wait for the dude to get back down in, in the groove. A little short track racing here, guys. A little bit of contact's going to happen here in Iowa. Uh, just a uh, thing to note, race three is going to be at Daytona, and that will be on May 5th, and that's a Saturday. Shut up. I mean, there is only 100 lots left, so there's probably not enough time to get by him. That. Is it? Next race, fellas, is going to be at Daytona, and that'll be on May 5th, and that's going to be a Saturday. It's going to be Daytona 100 laps, super speedway action, a little bit change up from uh, the short track racing. I don't know. <laughs> where's, the, where's the pace car? Finish <laughs> line. So who makes the rules in this deal? You, you. Jeffrey Ford. Is he in here right now? Nope. Yeah, he is. Is he in the Tower of Admin? Yeah, I'm up here. What do you got? I was and watch the relative for the pace car to come around. And this is the second time I never saw the pace car in the relative, and I ended up going a lap down. I saw the same thing my last pit stop. Lucky I looked in the mirror. Because there's too many people in the pit getting their shit fixed. Yeah, but why doesn't it show the pace car in the relative? If, if the pace car is like three seconds back and you got four people that are, you know, two and a half seconds back or whatever, it's going to show those four... four Four people until it gets past wherever they are, then show up in your relative. You gotta click down to it. You guys copying me though? I have it set up on my steering wheel. I, have I don't think they are I copying me. Push down on the D pad to look down. Microphone. 
Yeah, the weird thing is uh, whoever the leader was, it, they he should be copying him. Until he was only like one second. He was only like one second or two seconds behind me before he even showed up in the relative. Probably because you got your graphic is only set to certain amount of cars and they're all in front of you. Yeah, I got to set the 10, so you're saying that that's only the 10 in front of me? And that it doesn't have anything to do with folks behind me, huh? I think it's the 10 closest drivers to you. Yeah. I can't set this point, so most of the guys I see are in front of me. Or 43. Well, that's still on the thing. How was the leader in front of the pace bar? <laughs> Come on, guys. Speed up. Let's get up there. All right, folks, we are about to kick this baby off. Coming through at three and four. Brandon Stokes and Jeff Smith. Let's see who's going to get the uh, turn one. Tim Coffey has worked that 27 car up. So 11 does get quite a jump. You got... 57 to Cooper in the number 33 battling an outside side-by-side -side going through 3 and 4 right now. Finishing up lap 56 of 150. We are a little over a third of the way done. Moving further back to see if we can see some more action. Got the 29 of Kyle Snyder. Being chased down by the 25 of Steven Seegers. But Steven Seegers is getting all he can take right now from Tim Coffey. Tim Coffey in that 27 Ford FEG car trying to see what he can do as far as getting by the 25 car. Looks like a pretty good bottleneck going on here, folks. Watch this go on. This is bumper to bumper racing here. These guys are really going for it. They're battling out. This is race number two of the iRacing flea market, folks. Uh, a lot of fun here. A lot of fun going on. A lot of selling going on at the iRacing flea market. Uh, commander of that Facebook page is Tim Giles. Got any questions? Do you want to join up? Uh, ahead, take Seth, take part in some of the drive. sales that are going on. Uh, just sign up. And uh, Tim will get you all hooked up. And you'll be able to uh, post and... Uh, See what all the members have for sale. Team 25 battling it out. Here comes the 26, though. Here comes the 26 right now of Mike Buchanan. Right now we're on board with Mike Buchanan. Let's see if... Uh, He's going to be able to make this pass on 25. Looks like he may. Still side by side. Still side by side. No one's wanting to give an inch, and the 66 has got a really good look at it. 66 can just watch these boys battle it out in front of them, but it looks like maybe Brandon wants to get in on it. 
Is he going to try to make it three wide? Is he going to make it three wide? The boys are starting to thin out a little bit here. This right here, you're looking at a battle right here for 12th, 13th, and 14th. So uh, there's some racing going on here in the back as well. It's not all up front, and we're going to bring it all to you. work our way back and see what else we got here. We got the 15 car. We have Kenneth Colf. Now the 15 car, Kenneth Colf here. Kenneth, he was last race's $120 random lead lap driver winner. Now let me tell you something about Kenneth. We had about five laps remaining and he was lapped down. Looks like we have, a co we have Tim Coffey there. Uh, spinning out there on the bottom. Looks like nobody else got collected, so that's good. Uh, back to Kenneth here. Kenneth Cole is currently in 15. He was a lap down with three or four laps to go. Uh, well, actually about six or seven laps to go, and the caution came out. He got the lucky dog, and then he got the $120. That's a 27 car in the back stretch that brought that out? Yeah, it probably was. I think so. Let's take a look. <laughs> See the 27 car. I think it was old yeah, Tim. Nice car, I don't want to go. Okay. Ah, uh, I think he just, uh. Checking up, coming out of two. Yeah, he got a little bit loose. I don't know how much damage you got to see. Let's see what happened here. It looks like he touched that yellow line a little bit, and then he got a little loose. That's Tim Coffey. Looks like he's able to save it. He locks it down. Good job. Waited for all the cars to go, and of course, uh, the caution sometimes flies when uh, you roll back out slowly on on the car. Uh, These guys are going to be coming in to. Uh, get a little bit of service. I'm going to take a short break and I will be back. You can see I'm sitting here in my studio uh, enjoying the race with you guys. I'm going to take a five minute break here as you can see uh, on the screen there. I don't know. I'm, I'm pointing this way but it could be this way depending on how the mirroring is of uh, the webcam. But uh, I appreciate everybody coming out here. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, I am going to keep the, uh, and I'll let you guys see my setup here. Uh, by next race, I'll have everything set up right, and I'll be able to have the cautions outright properly and, and whatnot. It'll look a little more professional, but I'm having fun either way. It's not perfect right now, but uh, it'll get better. Uh, just like everybody else, I need a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, help, a little bit of uh, fine-tuning, but uh, the point is, uh, the guys are out here racing. Uh, they're having fun. We're, we all buy and sell uh, to each other in, in the, uh, the Facebook uh, page. If you want to get in the Facebook page, it's uh, iRacing Flea Market. Put that in the search engine and join up. It's a great place to buy and sell. Um, thousands of members are there. So if you're selling something from a, a G27 on up to a motion sim rig, um, hey, uh, it's probably going to be there. Uh, speaking of motion sim rigs, my 8020 rig, which is right over here, <laughs> which you can't see, it's all screen. Uh, that's going to be for sale because I'm bought a, a motion sim rig. How I mean, much time so. we got left on the server? I thought we was only set for like two hours. But um, either way, um, I'm going to take a little short break. Right. I'm down to a three minutes and thirty seconds. That's what the timer looks like to me. Right. But uh, I will be right back, and I appreciate everybody watching. Yeah, and, uh, I'm just going to have to take a little break myself right now. So I'll be back though. And let me see. That's uh. Let's see. We'll, we'll, yes, remove that. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to give myself five more minutes time. How about that? I think I deserve five minutes more time. I'll be back, fellas. Uh, enjoy the race on the left-hand side, and I'll be back. They're currently under caution. Uh, lap 71 of 150. And let me uh, let me throw. I got see. I don't have all my screens set up perfectly yet, so I'm kind of looking to the left and looking to the right. But I will get that right. 
but I will throw the top five at the bottom down, and that's current running top five uh, as it stands right now. But yeah, I will be right back. The, the, the lights are on the pace car right now, and I'll, I'll be right back. Hey, 98, where are you? All right, Brian. You got, you got to get in front of me there. Yeah. Already did. What is the incident count set at? Anybody know? 17, I think. No, I got a long way to go then. Thank you. Somebody go bumping to Andy. Yeah, Andy, your truck's pretty beat up. I'll lay off, don't worry. He's still fast. Really, 35? Fifty-seven, you're blinking some bad here. I can't, I guess you can't see a truck closing in on your front bumper. Look at that, back in my fantastic studio. <laughs> Alright, I didn't take the full amount of minute and 30 seconds, so let's get back to this race. Damn, are you just to keep knocking me or what? Yeah. Brandon Stokes, number 11. Back, big lead coming out. See number 33 and number 7 still fighting it out. Trupiano, Hal James. He does. He's wanting to get by. There's Trippiano. And Hal James battling it out. And behind him, you got 16 there, Frank Bustiano. You can see kind of what, like what it looks like, that battle going on in front of him. Kind of what he's seeing. He may try to overtake the number seven. We are at lap 80 of 150, so we're a little more than halfway. Well, lap 79 coming to 80. And that's a battle in front uh, for third and fourth in front of him. Looks like Frank's content with letting them boys battle it out a little bit. Oh, 
Behind, behind him, we got Jeffrey Meyer and Cooper. Looks like Meyer's really trying to to get going on Cooper here. Let's see what he can do. Looks like he's going to get by the coop. That right there is a battle for six and seven. Seems like everybody's racing somebody, though. Find him. Got the 28 and 26. Mike Buchanan and Christopher Lewis battling it out. <coughs> Real hard to race around the 57 with a blink of in and out on. <laughs> yeah, this is internet racing, boys. You're going to have some people blinking. Yep. There they go. That's Christopher Lewis battling it out right now. 26 of Mike Buchanan. Got a little turn there. Got a little sketchy. He saved it. Let's take yeah, a look. Yeah, at, seven, let's let's take better, a look at that. Oh, he saved that though. Let's take a look at it. Still green Bubba, flag racing, boys. Seeing, Bubba, good save. But you can see. Oh, we just got him. The 17 came in a little too hot. Turning 28, he was able to gather it up. Nice, nice, nice driving there. Nice driving by Christopher Lewis. Nice driving by Mr. Lewis. Great job. Brandon, you guys are going to have to go low. This thing will not drive low. So Christopher Lewis, he's gathered it back up. He lost a few slots, but he's uh, yeah, he's I back down in uh, 16. He's got a rolling again. Good to see that he gathered that up without much damage at all. <clears throat> you can see the battle coming right now uh, with Kenneth Cole. Uh, these guys are on the lead lap as well. We have 25 guys on the lead lap. Still 25 guys going for it. Uh, the guys have been going for, let me see, fellas. Didn't stop. 19 laps. 19 laps on the tires right now. Good racing right here. Look at the boys get after it. And this right here is the battle for 14, 15, 16, and 17. So there's good racing going on all throughout, folks. All throughout. All right, Tony, please. Here we are, all the way I'm back in 19th and 20th. Down there. And the boys are battling it out still. Alright, stay hot on right here. Don't get it for up to the center. Number 59 in Matthew Kleinschmidt. Doing what he can to get up to Mr. Hooks. In front of him, the 35 car. Where's those caution causes? I need one. Another battle going on up here. That's between the 59 and 35. The 59 is giving chase still. And you'll see the different lines that they take. As that groove starts to go come in on the outside, uh, you'll see them going further and further uh, up towards the wall as you come around. No problem, this thing solid just in the blow. He's made it to the back bumper. Is he gonna be able to take him? Looks like the 32 is gonna give chase and try to make it make it uh, a three.
car race for 19th, 20th, and 21st. I'm too slow, I'm too slow. Go I'm sorry, 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Damn, that was a close one. Check it out, bro. I mean, damn, can we get a damn green flag pit stop run? Something? At least a 45 lot green flag run? Anything? That was a pretty and good run, though. The boys went on uh, that run 25 yep, laps. 25 laps on that one. Let's go back out to your race leader. It's Iowa, man. What do you expect? That was a 25 lap run there. Uh, what happened there? I mean, Yeah, well, last week in Texas was really good. We had like two green flag stops, but this is Iowa, man. It's different. Oh, I got some wicked heartburn right now. Ninety-five of one fifty. This is your not a good pit stop. That's your current current action going on. I have that. I'm just curious. I don't know if I came down. Came up. Thirty-five drivers. Still have plenty on the lead lap. Still have plenty on the lead lap. 24 of them. That was the pit stop there. Robert, goddamn, I got a passing under yellow because whoever was behind me wouldn't come on up here so I could fucking pit. Turn on. On the mic is, is myself, Jeffrey Ford, owner of Ford Entertainment Group. Owner of Ford Entertainment Group. If you need a PC, just let me know. Uh, I got a $520 computer, brand new, all parts, three to five year warranty, $520. Runs eye racing 100 to 150 frames per second with all graphics on the left hand side on. For instance, all these graphics here are on. Are all on. They may not all be on high detail, but they are on. You're not having to sacrifice anything with being off. And that's for a $520 brand new computer. So, uh, yeah, you're not going to run triples with it, but uh, you are going to get uh, a lot of eye candy and 100 plus frames per second. So, if you need something, let me know. Babe, can you bring me some water? What happened on that pit stop there, Stokes? So, cautions for the night. Seven cautions uh, for a total of 32 laps. We're 98 laps into it, right, so uh, we've had a few more cautions here, which is to be expected at uh, Iowa. But we have had a few really, really good runs, too. We've had a couple 20-plus uh, runs. So... And uh, thanks to the wife for bringing me water. And she's got lots of babies to tend to, but she allows me to do this, so 
Uh, kudos to her. I think she deserves an award as well. Probably will give her a prize of some sort. <laughs> that little mamacita. Alright. Lights are off. Eleven's giving the seven a little push. Andy Trippiano, last week's winner. Jumps out to a little bit of a lead here. Behind him. You're going to have the number 11 of Brandon Stokes, who's led the majority of the laps here tonight in Iowa. Behind him, you have the number 22, always fast, Sean Howard. Behind him, Al James. One of my favorite drivers. Oh, Hal, he's, he's been racing with me and I racing for quite some time. That was a back thing. Uh, oh, looks like there's a little bit of, little bit of, of uh, nefarious yeah, activity. Just, just do everybody a favor. Let's see. Who got out of shape? Oh, man, what oh was that it's all the about? 15. That was all. You turned out on him. It's the 15. Down for the wreck. You run into me. Wreck was behind See the 15 here. He's one spinning. I don't know if he's the one who started it, but he's spinning. Sick. Oh, the 79 turned to 15. Let's take another look at that. 79, Jason Stevenson. You're unaware of what's going on around here, it looks like. Looks like he just got a little bit loose. No, I just can't call yeah, a little bit loose, slid up into the 15. A little bit of trouble. Unintentional contact. It happens. So hey, we're not, say, we're not uh, professional drivers out here. We're guys sitting at home doing our best to uh, keep clean. Looks like the 57, the Cooper, took a hard lick there. He did take a hard lick. Look at the 57. We'll look on board here. Oh, he got that good. Let's take a take a look from uh, Cooper's view. He sees it happening. There's just nowhere for him to go. The coop had nowhere to go. All right, back out in front here, fellas. One hundred and two of one hundred and fifty laps down, folks. Is that he hears me? That's why. <sighs> Got number seven of Andy Truppiano. A little bit of silence while the wife was uh, tending to the children. <clears throat> but 104 laps down out of 150. Good job so far by the guys. Uh, What's up, Vic? The boys have been running. I know we're pacing, bro, but, for, you know, I'll give you the spot. When we approximately go, 120 I'm laps, or, 100, or an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, no worry about me, man. Not in Toronto. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Pace car uh, lights still on. Here in Iowa, uh, the pace laps, even though it's not I mean, even quite you know a mile saying, track, it does tend to take a little bit longer. 
My father don't say you're um, there. During cautions the because the speed, the speed limit, or the pace limit, the pacing okay, is what I would believe is 35 right. miles an hour. Let's take a look on board. Showing 50, sorry, 50 miles an hour, so it's probably 45. Baby. It's probably the pace lap. They're doing fair, or maybe it's 50. So, uh, but that's what we got right now. So, Brandon Stokes and Andy Trupion and Hal James, they're uh, the top three there. If you want to see how, see how they qualified. Yeah, go ahead there. Let's take a look and see how Damn, they qualified. Like that, <laughs> that's how they qualified to start the race. And Brandon, Hal, how about Sean, that, how about that Andy, and Chris. Rock, buddy. So, uh, they're definitely uh, I don't know a lot has now, changed so we'll top the there. Tim Coffey worked his way up to ninth. It's a little bit. It ain't that bad. And the Ford Entertainment Group car there. Man, you can see. FEG, that's my company there. Better get to the race there. <laughs> <coughs> so Andy jumped out a little bit. Got Brandon Stokes behind him. Jeff Smith as well. Those two are battling out. Let's go ahead and work our way back here. As the seven car gets a little bit aggressive there. Right here you're seeing the battle for second and third. There's some battles going on. Some really good racing by these guys, actually. Uh, this is a short track race, and we've had a few 20-plus green flag runs. So that was nice to see. And uh, you don't always expect that here in Iowa. Uh, good thing about it, uh, this week, the track, the official track, was uh, Richmond, which is similar to Iowa in regards to the shape and the speeds and braking. Uh, probably a little bit more braking on uh, Richmond. Uh, Team number 27 here says he's given the 94 of Stephen Harry all he can take. It looks like he's going to get by him. I don't know. Maybe I spoke too soon. Looks like 94 is going to make that outside run a little bit. And uh, Tim, Tim Coffey's going to have to. This is fucking ridiculous, dude. Uh, Tim, another caution. <laughs> Let's see what happened here. Let's see if we can find out what happened here and work our way through. Yeah, so. dude, I'm sorry for that. I've been stuck behind that 27 and the 25. The last three fucking restarts, they both pinch me out either time I get close to them, and then they're slow the next corner. That's my bad. Uh-oh. Well. There's like 15 to 79. Here you, dude. Let's see what happens this time. Oh, they just get into each other again. 29, you kind of blink out once in a while. <clears throat> yeah, 15 gets up in the 79, and yeah. Just not a whole lot they can do there. Not too much damage, though. So, that's pretty good. Not too much damage. A lot of them coming down pit road right now.
<clears throat> so it looks like we have a new leader here of Hal James. Hal James is going to lead the boys off to what it would be, what will be, lap 112 of 150, folks. So hopefully if you're out there, you're enjoying the race so far. Uh, the guys are doing fairly well. Uh, a few more cautions than I would like to see. But uh, you compare it at the last race of Texas where we only had two cautions. So, uh, you know, you're going to get some races like that. And then there's going to be some other races that are going to be, you know, a little cleaner than others. But uh, the important thing is that nobody intentionally wrecks anyone intentionally tries to take the front away because if that happens of course uh, you won't be allowed to run it any more of uh, the FEG iRacing flea market races Make sure you guys stick around at the conclusion of the race so that you can uh, see who wins the uh, the fifty dollars and as far and as well as and as well as the uh, the prize that's gonna be coming out to be named shortly. Look at that beeping. Alrighty. Here we go, folks. Pace lights are off. Hal James is our man. He's going to lead them as we're going down the back stretch, going in three and four. Let's see what old Hal James got for him. We're looking at Hal James here at lap 115 and 150. 35 laps remaining. These guys get around the track. And 23 to 25 seconds, depending on where they are at on their tires. So, this thing could be over with a green flag run in less than 15 minutes. See how James leading him in turn one and two. That's Andy Trupiano trying to go underneath. Let's see. Oh, man, Trupiano, very strong underneath of the number 33 of Hal James. Behind him, you got the number 11 of Brandon Stokes as well. Looking. I hear some nefarious activity in the back. We are going to check out and see what happened there. Let's pause this. We'll the hell, 79? We'll go to blimp view. I heard the 79. <laughs> Oh, the boys are. Where's the six car? What the fuck? 27 needs to move from the lead. Okay, so the 27. Yes, that 27 does need to be removed. Oh, the boys are. 79, what the hell was that all about? You didn't even turn going around the corner. What happened there? Six, are you still in it? I don't know what happened to 27 there, and that's, uh... Let's take a look. 79! Yep. 79, pay the fuck attention. 
27, you might get a work with shit. Oh, I don't know what happened to 27. Looks like maybe he had some sort of... And I got a black flag. Mechanical issue? Hey, seven, it looked like you turned down, bud. You were trying to pinch him a little bit. So there was a little what bit going on. What the hell was that all about, 79? Hmm. I'll have to review don't know. all of this. Looks like he was probably trying to avoid the wreck. Yeah, a lot of times the guys... That, that sounds about right. Sorry, bud. I didn't know what wasn't listening to the damn slaughter. How good. Wow. Well, here we go. 30 more laps. Right after this race, we need to tell the guy who runs this that he needs to just pay more attention or get an admin. <laughs> I'm sure it's a lot more to it, you know. I'm sure he's uh, doing the best he can. I'm glad he was a hope. If, if he's broadcasting, he needs an in man. I just appreciate that I'm here and he's willing to give us some money. So regardless of what it takes, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you very much. I'm not saying I don't feel the same way, but there might not be anybody to race with eventually. What happened with that 27? He just like never stopped, never slowed down, nothing. Yeah, the boys are a little fired up. Just let them, just let them say their piece. Uh, I think he said he was gonna get one. He just couldn't have. For some reason, his admin couldn't be here the first couple of weeks. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I remember him saying something like that. He was by himself that first race and uh, supposed to be getting somebody in here. Yeah, we're going to get some admins in. Yeah, they like, couldn't do it. But a lot of this is just stuff is just a product uh, of um, short track racing. It's not anything to do with guys, you know, purposely crashing each other. And that's, you know, I have an incident limit here. And uh, if they reach it, they will be out of it. But if I see anything intentional, hey, then Derek, obviously uh, I'm going to take care of it. jump on the right side of my truck. But it did. Can't hear you, David. Are you on the lead lap? Yeah, I'm, I'm 17 here. Okay, I don't think these guys are copying me right now. I, I still. I, I honestly don't see anything on you, 50. Yeah, they're not copying me. You taking low or high, Hal? Uh, the 27 side swipe me, so I was just wondering. Or is this admin on? Thank you. You look a little scraped up on the right side, but it doesn't look bad. Nah, I don't think they are copying me right now. Oh, yeah. I'm watching gonna... the back to the front four times tonight. It's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, my truck is in great shape. It's good to hear these guys, so you guys can kind of hear what the banter that goes on. For those of you who just usually watch, and, and maybe you just watch your significant other race, and you don't really know all the banter that goes on. Uh, yeah, there's okay. quite a bit. Uh oh, I'll check that every now and then. So how James is going to lead him off once again. He does not get a great jump. He does not get a great jump. <clears throat> you see all of them behind there. It's a short, it's a great track race. Really, really though. Aggressive there, 68. I didn't know you were, didn't know you were going to stop. I didn't <laughs> stop, brother. Uh -oh. I stop, bro, right? oh, look, 11 up. gets turned. Yeah, Watch, okay. the Whatever you say. <laughs> Watch the pile up. Watch the pile up. Alright, that's it. We're going to bring this back. Let's just bring this Ooh, back. That was nasty. And watch this blimp view. Watch all this activity. This has been the most ridiculous race. <laughs> 
been hit so many goddamn times that didn't cause any wreck and might have ended up getting disqualified. He just so what the fuck was that? Man? Yeah. Boys are getting angry. <laughs> Yeah, yes. I was down there. There's no other thing to go. And you came down. I couldn't get down any further at the seat I was going down. I'm not trying to go. Yeah, that, that's fucking bullshit. We've Sounds been racing like clean the whole goddamn time. And then 25 to go, you want to wreck somebody. That's oh. bullshit. Oh. That old seven's been wrecking people all night. Let's take a look. Fuck, fucking bullshit, Jeff. 33 dump this stupid ass. <laughs> oh, so the seven hits 11. I mean, no, I said the old seven, not seven. Seven locks it down like he's supposed to. Anybody can clear a black flag from the previous caution because the guy didn't go. Nobody. Now you said no black flag to be clear. No, there's no end. <laughs> he said follow I racing rules. I don't know why I got a two second stop and go for passing on the yellow. Pretty nice. Where's the pace car? Jeffrey, thank you very much. Woohoo! He must have heard us. Oh hell, I can't think we're clear. <laughs> they're like, oops. Nah. I know, I know, they're, they're like just... We go. They're, they're well, heated up. <laughs> 126. 26. Yeah, I watched it. So I, I, I'll I, I'll get with these guys. I tried to serve the black, but then the caution came out and they quickly shot back up and passed everybody that cracked. So let's see. Okay, let's get back to the race here, folks. Uh, we got 24 laps left. Um, there's turn, current top five as they sit at the moment. Uh, your pole sitter got caught up in the last accident which was Brandon Stokes right here. Uh, he's getting some damage repaired though. Uh, he is a lap down now. Um, the 07 got into him, and then, which is Jeff Smith 11 here. He got into him. You're an idiot. Uh, I don't think that none of it was purposely, to purposely uh, wreck anybody. So there won't be ha any penalties handed yeah, out. Wrong. So, But I'll review the race. And all the accidents that happened, and uh, we'll uh, we'll take care of anything that may look like it could have been uh, on purpose. But you know, I don't really think that is. Uh, that doesn't mean stupid mistakes don't happen, because they do. Uh, I do stupid mistakes <laughs> from time to time, but uh, you won't be that, penalized for that. So let's see what the 15 is doing. Uh, 15, 15, 15, 15. And somebody said, "What the hell is the 15 doing?" So let's, let's let's stay on board and see what he did. This is last week's uh, 120 or last race 120 dollar winner. So you have the 15. Somebody said what what it was all that about 15, but we'll see. The boys are heated. The boys are heated. Oh, he just made a late entry in. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, number four, bro. I almost hit you, bro. My bad. Oh, you're good, man. No worries. <clears throat> so back up to old big cow. Anyway, from a wreck earlier, so it's all right. Pace cars off. See what kind of jump old Hal gets. Al James and that Clemson car gets around turn one and two rather quickly. 
Behind him, you got the 07 of Jeffrey Smith. Behind him, you got Trupiano, last race winner. And we are at 129 at 150 laps. So we are counting down slowly. Trupiano is looking to get regain that it's lead. Like to stay down. Yeah. Let's take a look. Uh-oh. 50 car around. Okay, let's see uh, what happened here. 16, you're running a little hard there. Come on, 50, I don't want another black flag. I'm coming. Well, if it was me running her, or y'all being on old tires with 20 laps left, you tell me. I can tell you, you took out four cars on lap 50. <laughs> yeah, these guys, they're a little hot. They're a little hot and bothered. Check 20, back, 29 to go. Exactly. Carlo? I needed to enter this as an admin, which I did not. Watching the replay, you definitely came up in. Hate to break it to you. I wasn't even involved in it, just third party. But I didn't want to take a stall because I didn't know how many cars were going to show up. What so you went to spectate. Right uh, there were 35 cars, so I guess you we still had uh, nine spots wrong. open, but hey. I'm asking what that had to do with this last car. No, you said what that had to do with right now. That guy was telling me what you did, so that's what it had to do with right now. Nothing to do with this car, though. No. <laughs> the boys are a little angry. As the cars start falling by the wayside, I see that the viewer count starts stepping up. Properly. We've got 10 watching right now. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll address a little bit of, uh, we're going to make a little more rules. I'm going to have an admin for next race. So uh, uh, it'll tighten things up. I just wanted to get the first two races out of the way, see what we were going to need so I didn't have any unnecessary expenses for the uh, for the race. What were you saying about the 11? That'd be pretty awesome, Andy. I'm pretty sure it's live audio anyway, like the broadcast and here are talking, so it's pretty much radioactive already. Yeah, it wasn't the first week, this week it is so far. Right, on, on the audio. <laughs> I already finished swearing. All right. Hey, that's part of it. That's the risk going in. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> yeah, Smith, it's been a little ridiculous. There's going to be some... Uh there's, we're going to tighten up the rules, and we're going to have an admin for for the next for the next races there. I just wanted to make sure, uh, see what we were going to need to have some smooth uh, races. This is just race number two. Don't uh, worry, boys. Uh, we have a lot more races to go. Left in the lobby. But it's short track racing, so I know, I expected there to be some contact, and of course the guys are all competitive, so there's going to be a little bit of uh, bickering back and forth. So it is what it is. It's not. Uh, a wide open track where guys get spaced out and uh, we have right. long long green runs. This is a short track race and uh, uh, this is what you're going to get sometimes. So uh, so yeah, you're going to have to have a little bit I'm of thick skin. Yeah, making my way back up there. Going to have to have a little bit of thick skin, boys. So, I got a question. Does anybody know if Jeffrey Ford and Jeff Smith are the same person? No. They're not. <laughs> They're scared. <laughs> I'm just wondering. No, I'm not racing. I thought maybe it was a silly question, but at the same time, 
Jeff Smith is the one that posts on iRacing Flea Market, and then Jeffrey Ford is the one that runs it. So. I don't run iRace and Flea Market. That's Tim Giles, folks. Tim Giles is the man you want to talk to. Hey, Fifty, I'm on the high side waiting for you to go by here just to let you know. All right. Fifteen more laps, folks. Hal James in the lead. Right here. He's all your top five. As they're coming in turns three and four, track position is everything at this point, folks. Track position is everything. I'm gonna be. I'm your host tonight, Jeffrey Ford, Ford Entertainment Group, and here we are, coming to lap 136. Got going three wide there uh, for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. You can see the battle there brewing. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. 94 has got to check up a little bit. Uh, we got 29, 26, 94. 22 is coming around as well. He showed he's had speed all night in that gray car as he does get around the 94 and starts checking. Uh, start coming in a little bit bigger in 26's rear view mirror. So that's Sean Allred. That's uh, right on board with Sean right now. Yeah, that's right there, 21. As he's looking to get around the 26 on the outside, I don't know if it's going to happen oh, so soon. <laughs> uh, as you know, he's on 13 lap old tires, but Hal James at 33, uh, he's currently in second. He is on 43 lap old tires, so it's going to be interesting to see if the 43 of Hal James is going to, uh, or 33 of Hal James is going to be able to uh, hang on or not. We'll go back up to Hal now. And see how he's doing. Oh, well, 33 and 29. 29 is going to go in the grass a little bit. It's going to come back out. Looks like he's going to lose a couple positions. However, he's going to uh, keep his car up right. We're at lap 139 or 150 right now. So 11 more to go. Hal James has got a little bit of activity on his bumper. Looking like the 26 is going to be able to dive underneath. Uh, 22 is Sean Allred. He's taking a look right now. And... Uh, you can see what it looks like from his vantage point. I've got 14 drivers on the lead lap, vying for that cash. And of course, this is a points race. So it looks like Sean's just happy with Ryan behind. We got uh, just 10 laps to go, folks. You can see them being a little conservative to top uh, second, third, fourth, fifth here. Looks like uh, Andy has kind of checked out from the rest of them. As you can see, that gap, he's about a half track uh, ahead of everybody else. So he's got smooth sailing ahead of him. The real racing is uh, uh, back here for second, third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, with nine to go, you can see these guys are getting a little bit, of, getting into the wall, coming down a little bit. The guys uh, do well, but we're going to go three wide here, folks. Going through one and two, we are getting the crunch time. Uh, this is a points race, so every point matters. And uh, as you can see, they're three wide. There, there's no give at this point. Eight laps to go. Hopefully, they can finish this out under green. Uh, while we got a chance here, we'll move back and see if there's any other clusters. Yeah, everyone else is pretty much well. We've got a little bit of battle brewing here <clears throat> between the 44 the car and the uh, who was that? The 94 car and the 25 with the 31 coming underneath. Oh, that was the four car. But yeah, we got a few battles going on here. That's David Gervais riding on board with him. He gets around uh, the 25 and the 4. Well, let's go back up to the front. Where it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a... 
There is some activity going on. We're watching on board Jeff Smith right here. Is 33 and Hal James is trying to duck underneath. And the 22 is giving a look as well. I hear you, Smith. A lot of roadblocks in short track racing. Just got to be a little patient, that's all. Uh, but these guys are uh, are doing a good thing here. Putting on a little bit of a show. Four laps to go. Uh, back out front with Andy Truppiano. He's doing, uh, as you can see, he's way out in front. Um, he's two and a half seconds out in front right now. So he just got to keep the car underneath him. Uh, Jeff Smith looks like he's uh, got a pretty good uh, handle on second. Uh, Hal James, uh, I mean, he's doing this on 53 lap old tires, holding off uh, Sean Howard, who's only got 16. He's doing a pretty good job of it. But uh, we'll see if uh, of the 22 is going to be able to grab him this time and get underneath him. But it looks like he's able to. Uh, that's what these tires are going to do. Uh, you'll see 22 get to the. Uh, now, looks like Hal got a bigger push coming off. So kudos on him. We are got two laps to go. Is he at 22? He's doing his best to get around. Uh, we do have two laps to go. And. Doing what we can. Final lap. <clears throat> As Andy Trippiano is going to go unmolested to the start finish line here. Uh, fantastic win by Andy. Fantastic win. Good win, Andy. You're fast. A little bit faster than everybody else. Nice move, 29. Uh, Unofficial running order right now. Unofficial. Everything's unofficial until I upload the results to Dan Lisa. I'll take a look at everything, make sure, uh, see if there's anyone that needs to be removed so that points can be uh, divvied properly. But, uh, Andy wins race number two once again. So, congratulations to Andy Trippiano. Would you end up finishing? Uh, he did a fantastic job. Why? Take a look at the results and leave them up there for, for a second. Uh, I think I got about 12 or something. Again, this was a iRacing flea market win, race. It was a decent race. Stand by, folks, for a... Uh, I'm going to draw the winner. Of tonight's fifty dollars and the PC prize for this week is going to be a gaming keyboard and a gaming mouse RGB LED light it up gaming keyboard and gaming mouse so that's what the prize is for tonight as well as fifty dollars to a random driver on the lead lap so we're going to let the, the drivers get out of their cars and uh, we're going to come back in five minutes and uh, we're going to do the drawing. Uh, it's going to be just like that. So uh, if you're on the lead lap, you got a chance here at Dow Racing Flea Market for uh, all the money and all the prizes. So uh, hopefully you stick, stick around and see who's going to be tonight's leader or tonight's winner. So... Alrighty, so we're going to wait about five minutes and we'll be right back.
All right, folks. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. This has been a presentation by Ford Entertainment Group. Uh, we saw some pretty hard racing by the guys tonight. It was short track racing. Uh, this is the iRacing flea market here. Uh, so when you, if you want to be a part of this, uh, this was only race two. We have plenty more races, and we do have a chase. Uh, the winner of it all is going to receive a free PC, and uh, each race is going to have prizes that go out and cash and significant amounts of cash to the a driver each race that stays on the lead lap so it's not the winner it's just the guy that uh, stay, if you stay on the lead lap you can get the money you can get the uh, the prize today's cash is going to be fifty dollars cash via PayPal to a random driver on the lead lap as well as a gaming keyboard and mouse next race is going to be at Daytona. That's going to be May 5th. That's a Saturday. Uh, it's going to be May 5th. It's going to be on a Saturday. It's going to be at Daytona and that will be race three, round three, uh, however you want to call it. <clears throat> so you're looking at your screen right here. This is the iRacing flea market. Uh, join up. Join up. You can see here there's, there's plenty of stuff to buy here. You can see I have here my handbrakes and shifters for sale. <clears throat> uh, uh, here you have John Henderson with a, a 1070 for $400. Uh, just scroll down. There's tons of things to buy. Okay. Uh, I know you guys are waiting for the random drawing, but uh, I want to plug our racing flea market. They're the ones who make all of this happen. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I am not the owner of, flea, of the flea market. Tim Giles uh, has complete control over that. So I'm just a regular old guy on the iRacing Flea Mart selling sim racing equipment uh, just like everybody else on here. <clears throat> uh, in addition to that, I do provide PCs to, uh, to iRacers. I sell anywhere from 20 to 30 a month. Uh, up here right now you see I have one for $495 shipped. Uh, that's what it was when I had the... the, the the ad here made. It's actually five hundred and twenty dollars now. I did just run a special for four seventy five ship, but uh as my vendors sales end, so do mine end. So if you see my prices fluctuate, that's why. When I have to pay more, you have to pay more. But a uh, five twenty for this one right here runs iRacing racing one hundred to one hundred and fifty frames per second with uh, most things on. So let's go ahead and get to what we're waiting for. <clears throat> So let's move this over here. All right. So here's what I got uh, on the lead lap. Uh, looking right here. I'm showing 14 drivers on the lead lap. Uh, the 15th place driver is Trey Bass, and he's one lap down. So 1 through 14 here as well as my software is also showing the same thing first through fourteenth as you can see here okay so there's fourteen drivers on the lead lap okay I'll we'll bring this over here so that we can see this this way <clears throat> So 14 drivers on the lead lap. Make sure all 14 are in here so we can see it all at the same time. That way everybody can uh, can see how we're doing it. Numbers. Pick one number between 1 and 14. And let me pull that thing back up. Let's see where it was here. Okay. All right. So we got 14 drivers here. Down to Jerry Kobos. So tonight's winner of the $50 and gaming keyboard and mouse is going to be driver number 12. Last time it was 13. Let me pull that back up. It erased on me. Okay, so driver number 12, driver number 12. Oh, my goodness. Would you take a look at that? The same guy who won last week, Kenneth Kolf. He won $120 last race. He's going to win $50 this race. Uh, you can win as many times as you want, as long as you're on the lead lap. So it looks like Kenneth Kolf <clears throat> is going to be the winner again of the cash and gaming keyboard and mouse. So Kenneth, if you're out there, congratulations on winning the prize. 
money and the prize, which is a gaming keyboard and mouse, a second week in a row. <clears throat> and also, congratulations to Andy Truppiano, uh, the number seven car, <clears throat> uh, for winning also the race again. So uh, Andy Truppiano brings home uh, the Iowa 150 uh, after winning uh, the last race. And Mr. Kolf wins the $50 once again. Uh, these are random, as you can see, it's a random drawing right in front of everybody. Uh, <clears throat> no hanky-panky, he's just lucky again. So uh, congratulations to both Kenneth and Andy for, uh, for winning that. Once again, this is Ford Entertainment Group. Uh, this is the iRacing flea market here. <clears throat> uh, please join up. And uh, um, it was a race that had a lot of cautions. You can hear the drivers getting a little bit testy with each other. Uh, we're going to have some admin uh, uh, going forward from here, <clears throat> as well as I should have all my stuff set up so I can uh, bring it to you a little bit more professionally. But I'm just glad that everyone came out here. I'm glad that uh, <clears throat> everyone uh, everyone that's been watching, I uh, hope to see you guys on May 5th, both viewers and drivers. Uh, next race is going to be at Daytona, and I intend to have the results posted either later tonight or by tomorrow morning uh, if you had any problems with any drivers send me their name and car number as well as uh, the lap that it happened on I am saving all the replays as well of the race so uh, I am gonna uh, take a look through everything there but Ford Entertainment Group here I appreciate everybody's uh, Everybody racing tonight, I appreciate uh, all the viewers who are out there. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do. Uh, I appreciate it. All the subscribers I can get, uh, I do like that. So, once again, Ford Entertainment Group, I race in Flea Market, Race 2 has ended, and see you guys next week, or May 5th, May 5th at Daytona. Take care.